Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today might just be the stupidest, biggest waste of time you ever watch. One thing to consider is boosting your immune system. So you guys know I'm a big fan of wiener smoothies. What's up, millennials? It is I, William Haynes. What a beautiful day it is today for all the so inhabitants of Earth and whatnot. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real. Lately, I've been actually watching fitness YouTubers. I know, it just sounds like the absolute worst thing that you could ever be watching, but I promise you, they're super entertaining. Okay, so when you look at these dudes that I'm about to talk about, at first glance, they might all look like meathead, idiots but they're all brilliant i promise you i actually really like these people but in the words of sean c i'm about to cyber bully so first off let's talk about one of my absolute favorites athlean x this man is terrifying why is he so mean i could save you a trip you could have stayed home and counted with sesame street as opposed to going to the gym and wasting gas if that's all you're gonna do. He never laughs and he almost never smiles. <laughs> the numbers that you're doing in the gym, the reps that you're counting, don't mean If you wanna build muscle. I love this guy. Why, why, why? I mean, do we even have to talk about this one? Look, if you wanna take arguably the greatest bodyweight exercise ever, the pull up, and turn it into that, a monkey fucking a football, and you're really losing out on what this exercise was intended to deliver in the first place. If I ever get to make my own $100 million blockbuster movie and I need somebody to play a purse mugger, this is my guy. And he'll be like, oh, you know, I, I have no acting experience. Dude, just be you. Rip that purse out of her hands, call her a bitch, and move on with your day. He's absolutely terrifying. His body is ridiculous. And he also has this thing that he does where he draws on his abs. Again, we have the rest of dominance here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. To like teach you stuff and I die laughing every single time. Now, the linear alba is this line that runs right down the middle and sutures across here, which is- It's just so extra. You like, <laughs> you, you don't have to do all that. This muscle runs this way. The fibers of this muscle runs up and down. Dude, you just drew titties on your six pack. Don't lie. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. He's done this more than once. Down. You do not want to breathe out and push out. He just keeps drawing on himself. I want to show you how to hit all of these things. And of course, we're breaking out muscle markers to help us to do that. Now but the thing about Jeff is he's actually brilliant. What he's taught me is not the importance of reps and fancy equipment. Jeff will actually teach you how to do an exercise and how to do it properly. Jeff is like, do the exercise right or you're gonna look stupid. No one's gonna ever love you. You're ne you'll never get married. You have to see the intros and outros he uses on this channel. They're terrifying. All right guys, see you soon. Leave a thumbs up Don't if you do. encourage him, guys. Don't encourage him. That's it. Like, none of your friends told you, like, dude, this spooky. He has this one where like, you know, I think it's the intro where like, it's like one of the first things you see and it's just him in black and white and he's standing there and he's looking at you. And then there's this other one that goes at the end where he's like, and he's on a bench and, it, and it's dark and he's just looking at you. Like, man, this is like some people's like nightmare. Uh, If they don't know you, like if you know Jeff, you know Jeff is amazing. I'd love to be caught in a dark room with him. But if you don't know Jeff and this is what you saw, you like, Oh shit, he's about to take my keys. What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. I, I didn't really like that carrot cake. It, it was okay. I have this joke that I used to always do on my Instagram where I would say something like, uh, you, you wanna get a, uh, let me give you, <laughs> what was it? You want a big ass booty? You want a fat ass? <laughs> Follow my fitness program and meal plan and you can have all those things in no time. That. That's it. Yeah. Uh, 
I love that joke so much because it means something different to absolutely everybody. Some people really do want that. Some people really do want that, but not in the way they think. Tired of having to call the cops to solve your problems? Follow my fitness program. One of my biggest critiques of online fitness stuff is it's glorifying of being able to give you the same thing that they have. Like me, I got a fat ass, but I was born with it. I can't teach you how to get this ass. It's my genetics, ho. I'm getting people big booties. I'm making sizes bigger. With my fitness program, eat whatever you want, whenever you want, and still get the body of your dreams. So when they say they're gonna get you these big ass titties, I don't understand how they're gonna do it because they were born with them. But, you know, through the science of body and stuff, you can do it a little bit, but not really. Hi. I'm William Haynes. I've been working out in gyms for over two years. If there's something in this world that I know, it's personal fitness. I really appreciate the fitness people who are self-aware about things like this and the reality of uh, Instagram fitness. That's why my next favorite person who I'm going to clown is Madeline Giorgetta. Now, before we talk about her, we need to point out that she is no joke. Not only is she a great fitness person, over the years she has molded herself into a body positivity women's health guru. She's got her own bikini line. She used to hold up meetups around the world for women. She's really tight. I go as far as to say brilliant and absolutely hilarious. So don't get your little panties in a twist over this video. But then I just like to flex like really hard. Like you gotta flex so hard it almost feels like you're gonna squeeze out like a little nuggy. That's the face, yeah, that's the one there. And then just kind of like fix your face because like people don't want to see that you look like you're going to see yourself. Like if you go back though, like just a couple months, like a couple years ago, her content used to be peak hilarity, but is this real? Her fitness tutorials are informative, but just like way too sexy. And look, there are a lot of men who like to be mad at women for being sexy. I'm not one of those guys. Let women do whatever it is they want to do with their bodies. If you're one of those guys who likes to hate on girls for being hot, you are just sad. I saw this meme on the internet that said that the same guys who are mad about women for having OnlyFans are just mad they can't make any money off their SoundCloud. You know those are the same groups. Those are the same two dudes. That Venn diagram are the same men. Let women do what they want with their bodies. But this, this just, this can't be a workout. You just, she's just, she's humping the, She's humping the thing. Whenever I watch her videos, I just want to go into my living room and record myself doing the same thing and post it. As a dude, just to see what people say. It's the same thing, right? You want a big booty, you want a fat ass. So she's actually acknowledged the fact that she's drastically changed her content style in this post where she wrote, Someone recently congratulated me on 900K and I was like, girl, laughing emojis. I used to freak out when I saw my numbers dropping, but now I see it as a positive. I've noticed my comment section is less hateful, less pervy, and less angry. I feel that I'm creating more of a positive impact than I ever was before when I was posting heavily posed transformation photos and fat burning tips. Our society, and previously myself, is so obsessed with constantly growing, growing our followers that there's not much room left to say, hold up, is this content maybe kind of poop emoji? Don't create content to grow your following, regardless of the message. Create the kind of content that you want to be proud of. I don't want to create content that shames people, further marginalizes them, or makes women feel worse about their bodies. It's possible to be a part of the fitness industry and not do that, though it will be tougher to build your following and grow your business. I won't lie. But I'm doing it while being true to myself, and that means the world to me. I mean, well, you can say that after you got all the followers already. Right. <laughs> I mean, girl, like... Doesn't she know people don't want to follow people who think about the stuff they do? People who are popular concentrate on that, and that's it. Once you start thinking, that's going to slow you up and, and give you all of these morals, and that's not how you get rich. But one of the funniest parts about Madeline is her twin sister, Liz, who sadly doesn't have social media anymore, probably for a good reason. 
but she was always one of the most hilarious parts of the whole fitness industry facade. She never sugarcoated. Chocolate, and Lizzie's had a bottle of wine. Drunk. So uh she would constantly make posts harshly criticizing fitness brands for making promises they couldn't keep and pointing out insecurity as the source of a lot of negative motivation. And one time she posted a video of herself drinking an entire glass of wine at once in under 10 seconds and I was really worried. But maybe that might just be an Australian thing. Girl, let me give you the California. You haven't heard of the Australian kiss? No, I haven't. Teach me. Crushed it. Sadly, one of the few blessings Liz has left us with is this drunk twin yoga challenge video they did, where she, of course, keeps it real. <laughs> There's an article here on extra.ie that said, this girl's hilarious cut and bulk transformation is perfect and powerful, but you can't see the photos anymore because she took them down. But they do have her quotes, which is the important part. She said, lose weight in just five seconds. Ladies, hashtag posture is so important on your hashtag fitspo journey. I see so many of you slouching like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Great film, terrible slouch. The thing about Madeline is that she focuses heavily on posing and that's what makes her stuff <laughs> great. How do you do this ridiculous pose? I've tried to do it and I nearly broke my back. And the truth is, it takes a lot of practice to get these poses right. Like, this took like two years. And yes, it does feel like you're gonna break your back. So of course her sister Liz is gonna give you some tips on posing. As she said here on her step-by-step -step guide, stand up straight, you lazy f <laughs> It makes such a difference when you don't walk around like a Neanderthal and instead use my tips to look like a versus model all the time. Her step-by-step -step guide, gradually pull your knickers up higher each day until your crotch burns. It's not easy, but it works. Okay, let's talk about another one of my favorite fitness YouTubers, Jeff Nippard. When I first saw Jeff Nippard, I was like, oh, he's probably going to be the douchiest of all the douchebags, but he's actually brilliant. I'm not exaggerating this. To be yoked means you've attained a very specific type of muscularity, resulting in a monstrous, overpowering appearance. Someone who is yoked has impressive development in five key areas. Jeff Nippard is like the Bill Nye the Science Guy of workout videos. Uh, as for grip position, Bernet et al. showed that for decline, flat, and incline presses, a narrow grip elicited more clavicular. I've never seen someone put so much detail into the thought and study of exercise and putting it out on YouTube in such a way that's so aesthetically pleasing. All right, what's going on guys? So I wanted to make a quick video here just covering a few tips that I have for modifying your training during the coronavirus outbreak with many people now being forced to train at home. Now, since this is a fairly heated topic at the moment, when he starts talking about working out, you think you're watching a damn pharmaceutical meds documentary. There's no need to panic about losing your gains. You're probably not going to lose a significant amount of muscle, even if you take a small break from lifting. For example, there was this 2013 study from Ogasawa and colleagues, which had one group train continuously for 24 weeks, so for six months straight, and then another group trained periodically for six months. Now, when I said these workout dudes are hilarious, some of them are not doing it on purpose. This guy, he is. <laughs> All right, what's going on guys? Today, I'm gonna to take you through the only at-home workout that you really need to make the best possible gains right from the comfort of your own home. I need you to see his April Fool's video, the only at-home workout video that builds muscle. Much more effective to use at least two or three jugs per hand, really whatever you can hold on to to maximize the amount of weight on the biceps. And if you really wanna take these to the next level, you can unscrew the cap of one of the jugs and take sips in between curls. I'm a big fan of comedy when you can't tell if what you're watching is real or not. And I guarantee you so many people fell for this video. And if you did get hit with a few splashes of water, you can try eating some tilapia and that should dry you out pretty quickly. Jeff Nippard made me realize I'm a hater to dudes that are buffer than me. And at first I was like, he's probably a pea brain, <laughs> douche bag in the ass, and he's brilliant. So stop judging people. Me? So jealous. He doesn't even do steroids. Or at least that's what he said in his video, my unfiltered opinion on steroids and why I almost took them. And I kind of just on a whim decided that yes, I would do it. As it turns out, uh, 
it never got delivered to me or they never came in or what have you. So I just never ended up taking them. So yeah, I judged Jeff Nippard, but I was wrong. He is a great dude. I suggest any of his videos. I've watched a bunch do his workout plan or whatever. The man is brilliant and hilarious. Which will be the best approach, not only for muscle growth, but also for immunity and overall health. And that's because the more mass you have, the harder it's gonna be for the virus to get into your lungs with the extra mass essentially crushing the virus in its path. It's just such a broad topic with so many people across the world so interested in it. It's just so much more likely for it to be hilarious out of context than it is to not be. You want a big booty? You want a fat ass cop? Follow my fitness program. So, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Follow me on Instagram. Follow my workout tips. If you really do want a big booty, I can teach you how. If you're jealous, you should mind your business. I'm that nigga with a mind and vision. Everybody trying to find a weakness.